All right, um, this is just some tips on how to get started on this uh, cartoon um, cartoon effect. The guy does it. He does, you know, I did it. It's the first time I've ever done it. He does it real smooth. His looks pretty good. Um, here's a picture of his. Okay, I guess his looks pretty good when he's done. Um, it takes a while. I'm not going to lie. This is difficult, um, but it's pretty cool when you're done. Okay, so if we go back and take a look, here's mine not even partially done. Here's one of the tips. Don't choose your whole body. Okay, just do the face. This is really time consuming and there's a lot of drawing. So here's what mine looks like. Not even done because I decided I was trying to do the whole body, but um, here's here's my cartoon effect. Okay, as, as much as I want to get done for right now. Oops, it's too far. Okay, and you know, you're always the most critical about your own work. Um, so I think mine looks okay. I probably could have done a better job. Um, I probably I would have chose a different picture. Like another tip is choose a picture where there's a lot of animation in your face. Like um, I wasn't even smiling I, in this picture. If we go back and look at it, um, I I was real. You know, and just not a lot of animation in my face. Um, the hat's fine. That really doesn't make a big deal. Um, but I would go back and only do my head if I was going to do it again. Okay, because it's just too much work, as you can see here too much work and too much drawing to, to try to include everything. It takes a lot of time. So um, that's that's a tip. Um, another tip is use natural lighting. Okay, When you use a flash, there's going to be um, spots on your face that are uh, more lit up, and that becomes more of a pain later on to kind of fix. The video will talk about how to fix it, but um, I just think it would be easier if you didn't use um, um, a flash. Okay. Another thing I wouldn't do is, and these are all things from experience from doing it, not use such a thick brush. I used, I think, a, it's probably not even still on here, but um, originally I think I used a four or five. I would go with a two or three. These, these lines could probably be a little bit thinner. Okay. Um, what else? Tip on how to zoom in and zoom out. Okay, you should really know how to do that. Okay, you can zoom in. If you hold down Alt, you can zoom out. Okay. Another thing too, when you're zoomed way in, because you'll have to zoom really in to get a lot of detail here, is how to scroll around the screen without um, having to zoom back in. So if you hold down spacebar, see the screen, the little your mouse turns into a hand. Now you can just drag around to go to the different areas of your screen. Okay. And I had sunglasses on. That's not a big deal. Um, it was easy to handle. Um, other tips. Um, have a real good understanding about layers and how the layers work. Uh, let me zoom back out. Okay, because you're you're going to be constantly wanting to turn off and on layers. Like here's here's layers of um, that was trying to fix some of the shadows. Okay, here's just the painting layer without my uh, my lines. And here's all of them back on. Okay, and then the whole picture. Okay, so you can easily control things with different layers. So just have an understanding of layers. Okay. Um, you should have a really steady hand because uh, there is a lot of drawing and painting on this one. And then lastly, uh, when you are on probably this layer, oops, this layer, you're going to be doing a lot of drawing and painting on, um, th this is, this is just a a paintbrush that I used. Okay, so zoom in. One little tip, and I had to look this up. I don't. I didn't have this memorized. Is making a smaller or bigger brush. Okay. Um, so right now, if I want a bigger brush, I can hold down uh, the right mouse key. Nope, I lied. Hold down the Alt key and the right mouse key, and I can drag to the right. Makes it bigger and the left makes it smaller because that helps like you know when I'm here I want a big brush to kind of handle a lot of this big stuff but once I start getting here I don't want to go outside those lines so I want to shrink down my brush and even more to get real fine detail because I don't want to go outside those lines like that okay so that would make it look really sloppy okay so that's I, I, I'm pretty happy with it I guess uh, for, for the first time doing it um, so those are just some tips. Watch the video. They, he does a pretty good job of explaining, I, I think, and the process. But it's it's a tough it's a tough one. So um, that's that is what it is.